Hello, this is John Cavalli, and this is our Q1 2019 newsletter, video, podcast review. I'm going to have some neat intro music. Um, this is a, a pretty long newsletter, and it has some really interesting stuff in it. So we'll move right over here to the newsletter. Those of you that are listening, I have a PDF up that is printable from our website and that will also be linked from this blog post. Um, newbies, we do this in a, uh, I like to give you the insights to what we were thinking about when we uh, did these, when we wrote these articles. These are all original articles um, and there's, there's a lot of uh, personality that comes be, uh, behind each one and just to give you a little more granularity. All right, so the first, the lead article of the Q1 newsletter is Capital Markets Movement. And everybody wants to, to tell you what exactly happened and what's going on and why the indexes were down. And the honest truth is nobody really knows. Nobody will really know. So we'll know maybe, we may not even know in a year or two, but the fact is somewhere in October, which is uh, usually a shaky month, and then November and December are better months, um, it, it was shaky the entire uh, time. So I'm, those of you that are listening, I'm going to the very first article. Uh, and I'm going to jump down. I'm going to quick jump on the PDF to the, the second part of it. Here's a picture, a longer term picture of the S&P 500. And this thing has been gyrating around uh, quite a bit. This is this is a multiple year picture, but clearly this movement that we had, those of you that are listening, I'm, I'm pointing to the October, November, uh, December time. Clearly this movement is is uh, abrupt. Uh, this movement earlier on in the year was due to some synthetic products. The funny part about this movement is there was really no reason per se. Maybe a little international slowness. Uh, we're not running quite as red hot as we were just uh, at the beginning of the year, but no one knows uh, completely. We're going to make a couple. I'm going to jump to the next page here. We make a couple of uh, suggestions that may be reasons, um, but we want to hit on the on the more positive things. The first thing is is that earnings are pretty good. Earnings are not red hot, but they're good right now. The markets are saying we're going to fall off a cliff, and we just don't see that at this time. Sentiment is really good. Those of you that are listening, I'm pointing to the consumer sentiment. Um, and that the other fact is, and I'm, I'm going to move down. Oh, here's a, here's a great graph, as a matter of fact, of uh, the university consumer sentiment. The thing is, um, the consumer sentiment's good, earnings are good, and the markets are bad. Uh, and I'm just off of watching, uh, watching Powell just a few minutes ago, and he basically said the same thing, that markets are uh, really having a, a hissy fit or temper tantrum based on the data that he sees. So certainly we don't like the movement. Uh, we'd rather see less movement, um, but sometimes it happens, but we're prepared for it. All right, second story. Um, I'm going to pass my personal one for just a minute. The second story is after 11 years of Kathy this year, um, we have, we went, uh, Kathy uh, retired earlier on in this year. Uh, those of you that are, are uh, listening, I'm on the very first page of the first article, and I'm about to jump to page six. And we had Monica. There's a picture of Monica that was uh, interim over the summer and did a fantastic job. And now on the left of the Charlie's Angels pose picture from our holiday party is Jennifer, a.k.a. Jen Hill, who is our new operations manager. I go into a very detailed um, uh, kind of background because you guys, if you're listening to this, if you're a client, you're like a family member or a friend, and we kind of open up our, our cards and give you very heart-to-heart -heart of what's going on. Um, but I wanted to ping on Jen's background. She uh, There's some funny stuff in here that uh, she spent 10 years at HSBC, uh, long commute, uh, has a wonderful family. Uh, and then there's a, I'll challenge you to read this funny uh, article, the funny part of the article about her getting these holiday pictures done. Um, needless to say, we're um, we're it's, we're happy for Kathy's retirement, uh, and, but we're even as happy, if not happier, for Jen to be here. She's learning her way around. She's learning her way uh, to meet everybody. Um, rest assured, we uh, give her a background about everybody because, like I said, everyone's like friends. And um, welcome her aboard. Um, she is is learning some of the new things, but she'll have it down pat very very soon. So meet Jen Hill. Um, I'm going to jump back to the first page and tell you this personal credit card theft story. I've written about it a couple times, and the interesting part about it was that I uh, was at the Y, um, and my credit cards were stolen, But uh, and I won't belabor that point. Got all my money back, no problem. And 
in getting my money back, I found out of, of several, and I go into deep, those of you that are listening, I'm now on page four of the newsletter. I go into deep on how everything happened and the vault saved us again. But in doing a police report, um, there were two or three other things that came up. And one of them was uh, basically don't pay anybody with a prepaid credit card of any type. That's something that really uh, is happening a lot. Then there was a letter that is just sent out to everybody that says, we know what you've done. Give us $12,000. And then the most interesting one, and this is where uh, I'm going to ask everybody to have a safe word. The most interesting one was a fake kidnapping that happened. And I'm going to jump to page five of this. And literally, there was a fake kidnapping where uh, someone said that they had their wife and that they needed some money. The, the detective said, we all need a safe word. After this occurred, we have a very funny safe word, but our family all knows it, and we can say that safe word. It's very silly. I would challenge you guys to have husband, wife, if you have kids, or, or younger or older, any kids, if, even if you don't. You, between a husband and wife, you need to have a safe word. So that was the interesting part um, that I thought of, that, that came of this. Um, while I'm here, we did record a couple. I'm on page, I continue on page five. We report, recorded a couple of videos uh, over the summer, and I go into those and have some screenshots. We're going to continue to use those uh, and update those. The very similar, I use the same technology as I'm doing this newsletter to record these. Um, and these came out fantastic, and they're an easy way for us to learn the vault. So I'm going to encourage everybody to, as maybe a New Year's resolution, to use the vault a little bit more. Um, you don't have to, but it's a, it's a really neat thing. Oh, I got to go to something. Hey, let's give ourselves some credit where credit is due. Um, we were um, nominated again as best wealth managers uh, out of Dallas, and I had the, um, the luck to be nominated the 12th time as best financial planner 12 times in a row. Whew. Uh, Donald like Donald Donald and Jen picked out this picture and there was a lot of gray and they they were dogging on me gray in my hair that is they were dogging on me saying it uh, an experience I think they just picked out the one that had the most uh, gray I'm kidding I'm kidding we, it was it was one of the best pictures um, in the conclusion our editor uh, changed this up a little bit the things to do now I'm on the very last page this is pretty cool the way she set this up so we hope you like it we're constantly trying to improve this. Um, and my parting thoughts, uh, I didn't get so mushy this year. Last year, I did this long letter um, about everything. Uh, this year, the, with the markets movement, I wanted to address that and let you know that if anybody tells you they know what's going on completely, they don't. But we do know that the, there are some good factors uh, out there. There's clearly some, some things for pause, but not, not the ginormous uh, movement that the markets have made. All right, I'm back at page one. For those of you that are listening, uh, this was a really cool newsletter. I'm going to try and pull some new... Um, uh, intro and exit music. Uh, I've gone longer. I can see it. I'm looking at the GoPro video of myself now uh, off of the screen. Welcome everybody into happy 2019. We thank you for listening. We thank you for reading. We thank you for being clients. And if you're not a client, give us a call and become a client. I'm kidding. If you're not a client, we hope that you enjoy this and learn something from it. So thank you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.